Well, now at 4.30, Shohei Otani for the first time in a Dodger uniform at Dodger Stadium is a headline in itself. Yeah, but no matter how much Shohei tried to clear the air and his name on Monday, this home opener won't come without questions about what happened off the field. NBC 4's Hedy Chang spoke with experts closely watching that. I talked with a sports betting instructor and a white collar crimes investigator. The baseball season is just beginning and they say so too are the investigations involving the scandal. People are always going to wonder, did Shohei know? David Venturella developed and teaches a sports betting course at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, one of the first of its kind in the country. We asked him to weigh in on how a sports betting scandal of this size and one allegedly involving millions of Shohei Otani's money could go unnoticed. So this went on for, you know, the better part of three years. It can happen in a place like California because California is not regulated from a sports betting perspective because it's not legal. As far as any government regulatory body, it's two individuals transacting money. Those two individuals are Shohei's former close friend and interpreter, Ipe Mizuhara, and the Orange County bookmaker he was allegedly placing sports bets with, Matthew Boyer. Shohei on Monday told reporters Mizuhara has been stealing money from his account and up until several days ago said he did not know this was happening. A transfer of that amount it is not unusual for a person making that type of money. The allegations involve Mizuhara transferring about $4.5 million from Otani's account to Boyer. We don't yet know how he was able to do that. Who had authority? to execute those wire transfers. Peter Group has his own security investigations firm and headed New York's FBI White Collar Crimes Division. He says the wire transfers should have raised red flags with someone on Otani's staff and the banks. There should be certain parameters in place where banks have an affirmative responsibility to, to KYC to know their customer. We want to make sure that the money is not uh, the proceeds of illegal, illegal criminal illegal activity. It could potentially not be used for terrorism financing and the like. The federal investigation will look into the money trail and who had access and authority to Atani's money. Experts say Shohei's mistake may be that he trusted Epe so much he may have given that access only to Epe and no one else. Major League Baseball and several federal agencies, including the IRS and U.S. Attorney's Office, they're all investigating this matter. No one has been charged with a crime. In Orange County, Hetty Chang, NBC4 News.